Okay, I made it up here. We're in East Chicago. It's, uh, it's 8.50 in the morning. We left Warsaw at 6 o'clock. And I'm over here checking out the dock. This is where we put the boat in, right here. Um, the boat's parked over there. We've been just kind of checking it out. I gotta see if they'll let me uh, fly the drone here when I put this in. But it's looking looking pretty nice. There's Larry. All right, so it's 9.30. I'm leaving the marina. Uh, everything's going pretty good so far. I do need to uh, adjust things. I, when I was packing things up last night, I, for some reason, put almost everything on the left side of the boat. And I just put 300 pounds of fuel on the left side of the boat. So we're listing a little bit to the left, but I think, I think we'll be good. So anyway, I'm heading out and uh, I'll update you in a few minutes once I get on the big water. Alright, I'm just leaving the uh, harbor at the East Chicago Marina. Uh, there's a huge jetty right there that um, makes this so there's no waves. And any second, I should be in view of big water. And uh, I'm a little antsy, not gonna lie. Uh, the, the wind is pretty calm today we've got about a five mile an hour uh, wind out of the west which is definitely going to be better but uh, I've, I've got about 20 to 25 miles of uh, open water that I've got to I've got to go oh boy and there she is the big lake all right well I'm gonna kind of get a feel for what's going on out here and figure out whether this is crazy or not. All right, so I'm gonna be changing my plans a little bit. I met a guy named Jim, and uh, he's telling me I can take this, this entrance into these breakwaters over here. Wow, this is a wave, they're huge out here. So anyway, he says if I take the Little Calumet River, um, I won't have to worry about being on the big lake for so long, and it'll be, uh, It'll be calm over there, so that's that's the way I'm heading before uh, the boat is upside down. I've I've taken some pretty big waves sideways, and we've been pretty good, but it uh, it's definitely going to be good to be on some calm water. I'm on my way back to the marina. Um, I got out around a point out there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, the wind is coming out of the west. And there is no way I'm going out there in this boat. So I called Larry. He's going to come back, pick me up. We're going to drive another probably 20 miles. Oh gosh. It's freaky going over these big waves. Um, we're going to about another 20 miles towards Chicago. Hopefully we can get over to where the, uh, the waves are a lot smaller. And, I don't feel like I'm gonna flip upside down. The uh, yeah, the waves are it's amazing. They uh, they aren't real huge as far as height, but the distance between them, like the whole boat, will go down in between two waves and then uh, come up over the top of it and then kind of drop back down into a hole. Just a little uh, unsettling. So anyway, that's the plan.
making a video and, and uh, documenting something like this. Um, Heather usually takes all the pictures and I just kind of go along. Um, so, basically, I'm back at the marina and I have been just waiting. It's, uh, well, like three in the afternoon. Uh, it's really windy, so I've got to wait till tomorrow to go anywhere. Uh, pretty much bored out of my mind right now. I've done everything I could think to do on the boat. I, I've had something to eat. I've uh, wandered upstairs for a while. And I've wandered back downstairs. And uh, now I'm sitting in a, I don't know, a 150 square foot box in a marina doing nothing is making me crazy so uh, maybe my next video I can uh, maybe show uh, the boat and how I made it and all the different things that make it go but uh, anyway as for right now I'm, I'm just hanging out eating my Triscuits This guy just had his boat taken out. They pressure washed it on the spot. And then uh, while it was still on this hoist, now they're gonna take it over and put it in storage. Which uh, is probably gonna be a 32 foot. And it's acts like it's no big deal. It's pretty awesome. Jack taking in the, the sun and relaxing a little bit. And watching these guys take these boats out and uh, it's it's amazing they don't just fall out of these slings but somehow they they uh, they get underneath these boats with these these big slings and pick them straight up out of the water Boat keeps moving. It may not look like it, but it's actually going up, just really slow. That's a big boat though. And off they go. They'll go put it away like all the other ones. A pretty fun job to have. <laughs> 